with Nick's to go. Someone with just an outside chance of a medal here. Comes from St. Petersburg, where the rink's closed, because it costs too much to renovate it. So she has to travel 500 kilometers to Moscow, and that can't help her preparation. 12th in the Europeans a couple of years ago, and third last year in Copenhagen. But uh, how has the disruption at home affected her? Here's Olga Makova. combination is as good as any that we'll probably see in this competition. And lands the triple loop. Well, the weight went out of the circle a bit, but my word, she hung on. And it's a fabulous skate. Terrific and good to hear the crowd going with it because obviously there's a lot of German support for Tanya Chichenko, but that may well take over the lead. For me, it deserves to. Well, there's no doubt about it. That was an outstanding performance. The quality of that triple loop double toe at the beginning, second to none. Triple loop, a little bit of a lean, but she hung on in there, kept the running edge. The double axle, superb. Steps, the present presentation of the program was quite breathtaking. And, uh, well, you could have heard, heard a pin drop at some point during that program. Here's that combination, triple looks. And she was so sharp. While Kaya's marks were being read out at the beginning, uh, and she was waiting to go on, she was warming up, and she looked so determined. And that's showing here in this combination. Back for that double toe loop. Well, she's not really the Russian number one. She was runner-up to uh, Maria Butcherskaya, who we're going to see later on. The Russians have a terrific hand here with Butcherskaya and Irina Slutskaya. They've never won this European Championship in the ladies' event. Could well change here. And I can tell you she's going to go into the lead. 5-5 five, five up to 5.8. Well, that really is good news. The judge is going with it, and there's that triple loop. Well, perhaps she's got something to prove here in these European Championships. Can she hold it together in the free program? Because whatever happens now, she'll only be overtaken perhaps by Bonnelly and maybe by one of her compatriots. But if she wins the free, 
she could take the title. Look at that. She looks down and said, yes, I'm in first place. Excellent. Olga Markova leads for Russia at the moment. Chichenko is down to second. There she is in all her glory. That, uh, well, Chichenko, we expected. Markov has disappointed us enough for us not to really get the feeling that she was going to do as well as that, but she was terrific. She really was breathtaking. I think the, uh, the choice of music was superb for her. She has a very soft style, and uh, she really used it well. <laughs> this confirmation, Shevchenko will obviously be disappointed, but... Uh, she can be happy in the knowledge that it took a great performance to, uh, to get in front of her.